One of the great new features of Logic Pro is a new instrument track called Drummer. As you might imagine, that allows you to put a, a drummer into your project. But Drummer is, is very intelligent. It, um, it will allow you to change the way that the drummer plays based on criteria that you put in. So adding a drummer track is, is very easy. Um, you can see here in the new track window there is a specific track for drummer so let's create that and you'll notice when when we create the track it chooses a drummer for you uh, right down here we have Kyle and it also populates the track with some some beats now that may seem like uh, something the drummer should do and in fact it is but let's see what we can do with this so let's just play it and see how it sounds So that's, that's pretty good. It sounds uh, really nice. So you've got some presets that you can you can put down here, um, and as you see, every time you choose one of the presets, all of these things will move the uh, the preferences that you have in there, and that in turn changes what happens up here. So let's try uh, crash the party and let's see how. See how that sounds. Now, that's pretty good. It's a little little tom roll. Now you can choose another preset and you'll see everything once again changes. Now, let's go and do something manually here. We can take this little ball and move it down towards simple. And you see the track changes. So let's see how that sounds. And we can even move it on the fly if we want and see if we can find something while it's playing. We can also tell it what instruments to play. So maybe, you know, we don't want the cymbals, so just click the cymbals and they'll go off. Um, we do want hi hat in there, and you can tell it which hi type of hi hat to play. Uh, you can also add more fills and watch the, the line up here. It's, it's adding more fills as you do this live. So as you bring it down, the fills will go away. So let's see how that sounds. Very good. Very nice. Okay, so if you if you decide you want to add another drummer track here, um, you can just right click the track, create drummer region, and a new region is made and pre-populated with content. So it's already there for you. You can decide what you want to do with it the same as you did for this region. Now, these controls down here are done per region so you can obviously make changes to the content of each region that you want to do there so if we have something now I already have a, a guitar track that 
I uh, did earlier so that we wouldn't have to to wait. Let's. I always like to have some space there. Um, so here's our our guitar track. I don't know why I always like to have it on the bottom too. Um, so let's see what we can we can get for a drummer to match what we have with this guitar track. So let's just let's just play. I know I'm gonna want something a little simpler. Still want loud because it's gonna be it's gonna be good and loud. Okay, that was that was okay, I guess. Um, I I was kind of let's pull back the fills because I don't really need as many fills, but I would like a nice fill on the end right here before it goes into that uh, new section. But for the rest of it, I don't think I want any snare, but I would like uh, a good um, like Tom. Um, fill going on in there. So let's see how that sounds. Uh, I still I want it a bit more complex. That gave me just what I wanted at the end, and the uh, the beginning of that is is pretty good. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Now for for this track, for this section, it's kind of interesting because all I all I did was really kind of chug on on three chords. So I want you to have a little. Less <laughs> It's not bad, but I don't think it, it really does what I'm looking for. So one of the things that you can do here is tell drummer to follow a track. So I'm going to tell it to follow the guitar track. Now. So... We can also still come over here and tell it what to do. So let's see how that sounds. <laughs> So Okay, so that's good for uh, for that. Now let's move on to the third one. What I'd really like with that uh, guitar is just some some hi hats, um, snare, and kick. I want it to be really simple, but I also want it to go halftime. 
because I want the, the drum hits to really stand out. Still want it to be nice and loud. There then, let's, let's try that. So there you go, you can, um, now, I guess I should mention here, you can come in and pick a, a new drummer if you want. You can also tell it to keep the settings uh, when changing the drummers. Um, I'll let it go so that you can see what we have here. So you'll get a dialogue, yes, let's change, and you see it repopulates everything. Um, so I'll go back and do the the main things that I did in here. I want it simple. And this one. I want it to follow that guitar track. And here we're just going to do the toms. So there. Very quickly. I'm also going to jack that up a bit so that I get some a good fill at the end there. I just want to loop this and let's see how that all sounds. You can go on like this for hours. I have uh, in the time that I've been using it, but it's it's been a lot of fun. Drummer is is really going to be uh, something I think a lot of people get some a lot of use of. Uh, there's one last thing that that I should um, mention here, and that's the smart controls. Um, this allows you to with with one turn of any of these to adjust the mix of of everything that's that's going on so let's just uh let's mute the guitar and take a listen so that we can sing. So as you can see, you can pretty much do um, anything to the mix. Now, if you're more of a pro, you can also open up the plug-in window. And in here, you can make changes to the drums. Um, you know, you can, you can edit them. You can do whatever you want. And if you have the producer kit um, activated here, you can come in and actually change out the drums. Uh, the producer get gives you uh, the ability to change the leak and, and the overheads in the room. Um, all kinds of different things. Tuning, dampening. But 
just a click and you can change parts of the kit which I think is great um, and and everything can be changed out now in the producer kits um, you also have channels for all of the um, instruments all of the drum instruments so if we play this Now, of course, any of, of these can be sent out to an audio track and record it. So if you want a heavy kit, uh, which we have loaded here, uh, you can have the heavy kit for some sections. You can bounce those out into uh, their own audio tracks and ha maybe have a softer kit for, for one part of the song if you want. I mean, the, the, the number of things that you can do here is, is just incredible. And as you can see, they have all kinds of, of different kits over here. Uh, so you know you'll be able to do quite a bit and choose quite a bit we can we can change out some kits here just to show you how they sound So there's a, a a look at drummer. It's it's one of uh, one of my favorite features in in looking at Logic Pro 10 so far.